Hi everyone. Today we're going to talk more about weight loss, lipedema, and again, not being able to lose weight, difficult weight. We already know that the lymphatic system must help to remove fat from our body. The lymphatic system, when it's picking up fat from our digestion, it becomes chyle. It's actually a whitish, milky uh, liquid. When people have problems with the lymphatic system, they start having uh, fatty tumors, fatty cysts. So these are signs that you're really having problems lymphatically. Now recently, inflammation has been implicated why we can't lose weight. And it was research they found that when your fat cells have inflammation around them, they can't change into brown slimming cells. So we've never thought of inflammation as a reason to why we can't lose weight. But two studies in 2005 linked fat and obesity to damaged lymph vessels. <laughs> so we know there's a big connection. If you look at lymphedema, something I work with a lot, it really is infection. When they don't take care of their arm or their leg or wherever their uh, lymphedema may be, it gets cellulitis and get all infected. And that's from protein-rich fluid building in the area, which creates inflammation. Well, that same thing is happening in lipedema and in people who really cannot lose weight. I hear it all the time from people who say, you know, I don't even eat anymore and I, and I can't lose weight. It's because our body becomes acidic. Our tissues actually become acidic. And when they become acidic, our lymph vessels and microcirculation blood vessels constrict a little bit. And now they can't clean. And since they're not cleaning, waste cytokines, which are inflammatory cells, and really just your own dead cell material because the lymph system must pick up cells, sort of just ferment and stay in your tissues creating inflammation. So again, we have to reduce inflammation. Taking a systemic enzyme helps to open up the lymphatic system by breaking down waste in the body. Taking something for the inflammation like a turmeric or curcumin product can really cut inflammation and help you lose weight. But one of the most important things is activating the lymphatic system. We have to get the lymphatic system going. Remember, we have two major drains right here. One vessel on either side of our neck that really takes all the lymph in your body. So your legs, your arms, your brain, your organs, your abdomen are all dependent on this being open. So we need to learn how to maintain our lymphatic system. And that's something I've been doing for 23 years now, teaching my clients how to get the system going. Because if I work on their system in my office and then I send them home, they're not going to get the same benefit to when I educate them about diet, supplements, and certain exercises that they can do for their lymphatic system. So again, studies have proven that we can't lose weight as well when we have inflammation in our body. And trust me, we hear that inflammation is the root cause of every disease. But we have to remember what inflammation is. It's not a mystery. It's actually buildup of waste sitting in our body and our tissues creating inflammation and disease. So simple things, change your diet, being more alkaline, more fruits and vegetables, a uh, lot less red meat, little chicken, turkey, fish. There are days you should be just eating fruits and vegetables. And trust me, I'm not a vegetarian. But if you want to lose weight, you have to understand it really is about what we're putting in our mouth. We just can't diet. We can't diet and eat the same foods, the meat and the bread. Bread is one of the biggest offenders, wheat. So just have to change your diet for a little while till you start getting results. Then you'll be able to bring these things back into your life. It's not about being perfect forever. It's about understanding that you have to clean up, get your lymph system moving, and part of that is making your body more alkaline, actually eating and drinking more alkaline things. And a lot of that has to do with what we eat. A lot more fruits, a lot more vegetables. So if this makes sense to you that inflammation is stopping your weight loss and you're confused as what to do, please contact me at Ossipinski Health Academy. Uh, this really is something, this science can make a big difference in your life and in your future health. Contact me. I'll make a difference in your life. Thanks.